Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you could set up a question in Google Forms so where it will take your respondents to a particular section based on their answer. So I have this uh, customer satisfaction survey, you know, it's got a little first section here with a video, name and date of service call, then section two starts with the questions, there's some various questions. So at the end here, I got a photo upload as well, at the end I want to add a question about whether or not they would um, recommend our service to other people and based on their answer I want them to be taken to a new section. So to begin I'm just going to make another question here. So would you would you recommend our service to others and then yes or no. Actually it'd help if I spelled it right. There we go. Okay, so now we have the questions. So depending on what they answer, I want them to be taken to a different section. So I'm going to need to make those sections. So when you make a section, just make sure you're on the uh, question that you want it to go underneath. Otherwise, it'll put it wherever you're selected here. So go to the new section here. We'll call this would recommend. Okay, we don't need a description unless you want one. So now we need to put a question here, even though it's not a question. So we're going to have it be a paragraph. You could do short answer as well if you just want something limited in the you know, number of characters. So we're going to do paragraph in case they want to write something long. And we'll put the question. Like so. So when they go to the section, they'll be able to answer this question here. So let me make a new section. And we'll call this would not recommend. And then we'll add a question paragraph here. We'll call this a, uh, what was wrong with our service? Okay, so now we have two sections here, would recommend, would not recommend, and then they could put their comments under each one. So now we need to go back to this question here. So depending on what they answer, so we want to go down to the three dots here, and go to section based on answer. So that's important that you do that. So now this brings this up. So if they say yes, we want to go to section three, would recommend. If they say no, we want to go to section four, would not recommend. Like that. All right, so let's uh, preview our form here. So here's the uh, first part, with the name and date, here's the questions, we'll just skip through all this. All right, so now, would you recommend our service? If we say yes, click on next, it'll take us to the would recommend, and then you could fill it in. Let's go back. So we're going to have to start over here. And if you say no and click on next, it's going to take you to the would not recommend. But one thing you'll notice though, if we say would recommend and say next, and we just type in some answer there, and we say next, it takes us to, to the would not recommend. So we don't want that. So how to fix that? is to go to the section three here and then where it says after section three submit form because we don't want them to go to section four if they go to section three because there's no point in filling out both and then since section four is the last part of the form we don't have to put anything because it's automatically going to have the submit button all right so let's preview again here Okay, so now if we pick yes, it's going to go to the would recommend, we could put in our answer, and now we have a submit button instead of a next button, like so. And if we go to would not recommend, it takes us to section four and we have a submit button. So once again, just create your question here. Make sure you use the option, go to section based on answer, pick your section here for each answer. And of course you have to create your sections 
uh, create the section and then choose the question, you know, add a question and then choose the appropriate question type that you want to use. It doesn't have to be paragraph, of course. And then just don't forget to add a submit form button at the end of one of them if you don't want them to be taken to the uh, next one there. Or you could, you know, have them go back to somewhere else if you don't want it to be a submit form. That's another option too. All right, hopefully that makes sense. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <music> you.